Hey everybody, Ben, Somerville Gardener. Just wanted to talk real quick today about what I've learned so far growing some of these beans, pole beans and bush beans mostly. And as I'm walking over here to the far side of the yard, I can tell you some of these results were not good. So back here along the back fence was the area that I had freshly planted and then covered over with a bunch of wood chips. And if you can see any beans around here, you just let me know. Because I can already tell you this little patch of grass coming up right here, that's where one of the plants used to be. And it did not survive, unfortunately. And after two months of growing in the ground, um, this thing has finally started to produce what I think are supposed to be beans. I mean, they're kind of cute and all, but I'm not sure I'd be you know, getting too fat off of these beans. But there are just a few down there and there's more flowers coming and I don't know, maybe it will produce something worthy of you know, making it to a plate eventually. Probably not. So that was the area of uh, partial sun and covered in wood chips. Now this one over here that was partial shade. No, that was partial shade over there. This is partial sun. I use those for partial sun means it gets sun part of the times and then the other side of it, it gets shade part of the times. So this one here just gets a little bit of shade and this Believe it or not, this is a bush bean that I put on a pole. Uh, it had just a little bit of compost and mulch uh, down below. I put a pole onto it and it took off quite well. And you would think that by the size of this thing and the amount of flowers that it has on it, that it would be doing well. And so far I have pulled off zero beans from this thing. I was kind of surprised myself. Nice big pretty plant like this and flowers and not a single bean anywhere to be seen for the last two months. So we're going to call that not a good result. Although interesting, you know, just based on the height. It's kind of cool. Coming back over here, there's been a few other additions and this is part shade side. There was a pole bean right here. It was doing great. You may have seen it in another video where there was like a little bamboo poles going, uh, in like a little V across here because it had grown up the pole and it started spreading out really good. And I got at least, I don't know, three or four family meals off of that one plant. And then all of a sudden, dead. No clue what happened. This may be some of its remnants over here. Uh, they just kind of got buried and covered up with more mulch because, you know, that's just what I do. So this other plant right here, starting to get some little spots on it. And again, just like the other bush bean plants, just no real sizable edible beans. It flowers, it grows, it produces beans. They're just smaller. And I thought that was still kind of interesting how that was all working out or not working out. So let's go ahead and come back through here and see about this other pole bean. And this pole bean here, again, I've gotten a few good family meals off of this uh, bean plant here. As you can see, it is nice and big and lush. And this is just one bean plant. It's grown up quite big. It needs to be picked just like some of the other big one that I have. Uh, oh, scared me. So this one right here, I mean, nice, good size eaten beans. I should have probably picked these a few days ago at least. Yeah, quite a few days ago. They're almost forming beans inside. Oh no, but they still eat. But as you can see, this one bean plant right here, uh, maybe you can kind of see it right down there, just one bean plant right there. And it just sent up a bunch of uh, vines and just kept on going produced real well and the only real difference between this one and the one that was behind it is this one's just full sun instead of mostly sun part shade so that was a success so let's go on to another oh let's do another success another interesting experiment so right here i was growing the bananas and pole beans together now while i've only gotten a few beans off of this one not nearly as many as uh the the, the big ones really but it does have good sized beans on it and it just continues to grow and wrap itself around the, uh, the old banana trunks right there. And it's kind of an interesting effect to see the, the beans and the bananas all together. And this one over here, again, pretty much the same. This one was more shaded where that one gets more sun. This one gets more shade. So obviously this plant is going to be just a little bit smaller, but the beans are still good size. Oh, it looks like, ooh, yeah, it looks like something got me on that one. But we're still getting some good beans off of this. Uh, between this bean here and that bean over there, I've probably gotten maybe a, a meal or so out of both of them together. They're not exactly the greatest producers, but they have gotten a few of them. And one of my disappointments was growing in mostly shade, partial sun, alongside of this Awapui ginger. There was this pole bean right here, which... Uh, yeah, we're going to go with it did not do so well at all at any point, really. 
the pole beans, just as a general rule, the more shade that I put to them, the worse they did. Shocking. But sometimes an experiment is simply to verify the results that you already expect. Coming around over here to the bananas, uh, again, this is, I'd say about half sun, half shade. It's a good 50-50 mix, but again, lots of flowers, not so many beans. I think this plant I might have gotten a handful or two of beans off of, not so great. The bush beans that I planted here alongside of it, uh, that one died, I didn't even bother with that one. And that one just never really did anything. But at least this one did grow up a little bit bigger than if you can kind of see it over there was the ginger and beans together. Yeah, they didn't do so well. And that one only did moderately better. Over here in the deep shade, interestingly enough, I have gotten a couple handfuls of beans off of this pole bean. This is a pole bean, right? Yeah. Where, where's the uh, the vines for it? It is growing in mostly shade right alongside the bananas, and I did get you know a few beans off of this thing. It grew more like a small bush bean than than anything, but it did grow, and I'm sure it's providing some sort of nitrogen fixing to the soil that's helping the bananas grow up nice and big. But we're not really trying to grow bananas in this experiment. It was just more of a, how well will they do together? Which is a, a mixed bag of results right now. Over here along this front line, we've got some bananas, some turmeric, and let's see here, that's a bush bean, that's a bush bean, and then there was a pole bean right here in the center. And this pole bean that was in the center just kind of, I don't know, failed, failed to thrive, I guess, is the best way to, to put that one. Uh, failed to thrive, failed to thrive. This one got kind of, you know, a little carried away with the grass, but, you know, it, it happens sometimes. And this one back over here, I did get maybe, when the temperatures were a little bit cooler, I did get maybe a handful of beans off of this bush bean here, but not a whole lot. It did kind of okay, but, I mean, not okay if you want to, you know, eat and survive and you like beans. And now on to my biggest producer by far full sun planted in the compost pile and then got absolutely trashed by the storm that we had roll through a couple days ago i tried to pick this thing up i tried to uh, get some extra bamboo supports and help push it up and support this thing and it just it collapsed it on itself but it has a ton of beans on it still yeah you can kind of just look right through there and just see all those beans still hanging there that I could have and should have probably pulled off a few days ago if we weren't having torrential downpours uh, pretty much all day. It wasn't very good weather to be out picking beans. But let me see if I can crawl through here. Ooh, hey, I found a little taro. How cute. I wonder where that guy came from. And a sweet potato. Hmm. I may have found a secret little patch of food. But yeah, right back here, you can see kind of all through here, they're just dangling about. All kinds of beans, lots of beans. I need to get down in here and go ahead and pick some of these beans because I think I'm going to need a few extra seeds. And if they grew here well enough for the last time, they probably will do good again. So I don't see much of an issue with going ahead and planting more beans here. And honestly, with as quick as they took off and grew, especially in this full sun location inside of a compost pile, I'm gonna go ahead and think that if I went ahead and let some of these things go to seed, that I could probably plant a few more and in a month or so go ahead and plant another second round of beans here and have a second harvest of green beans. And as you probably have guessed by now, I kind of do like my green beans. So thanks for coming along on this trip with me. Uh, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button if you do like the video. And if you want to see more, go ahead and hit subscribe. I do have quite a few other videos coming out and follow-up videos and all kinds of other planting videos. And in the future, especially the next coming years, as you may have seen from other videos, if you are a return visitor to the channel, I do have a ton of things going on here in my backyard and lots of brand new trees. There's a lot of first year plantings out here. In addition to the tropicals and the bananas and the taros and the turmerics and cannas and cannas and cannas and I need to do a canna video because these things need cleared out. So I may as well show everybody how I clear out my cannas. Stay tuned for that video and I'll catch you next time. Keep those thumbs green, pests away, and know that you are appreciated. Thank you.